YouTube, what's up with y'all? It's your boy Shin coming back with another video. And I know first thing first, I know Drip Alert got the new merchandise, you know. Huh, don't melt too quick. And I almost killed myself in the thumbnail for this video. Cause these are these are real swords. And I scratched my camera trying to get it. But getting into the video, uh, this video is gonna be how to kill boot camp. And it's gonna be premeditated, you know what I mean? We talking about it right now, we gonna get it done. Everybody that watches this video, y'all gonna go kill boot camp, so. I got five steps for y'all. And the first one is you gotta do your part. So it's, as far as like the physical training, uh, like getting ready physically, if you don't know how to do that, I got a video on that too. You gotta get ready physically. You need to study your little, your, what's it called? The start guide, the, the depth material stuff that they give you. So that way, cause you can, you can rank up off of that. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the video already, but you can rank up off of knowing your stuff, passing your depth test. The written portion and your first PRT. And then of course, you know, Prepare by, you could watch my videos and a ton of other YouTubers videos just so you can know like what's going on. So number two is forget what everybody tell you. Listen, forget, I don't care if your recruiter told you if somebody else on YouTube, don't, don't try to take that fly under the radar method that everybody tell you to do. Basically when you go to boot camp and you basically, you just try to, you know what I mean? You don't try to make no waves. You ain't trying to do none of that. Like, you really don't even want your RDCs to know who you are. Don't do all that, bro. I'm telling you right now, go in there, let them know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Take 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 boot camp over. I ain't saying be cocky, be arrogant, be none of that, but I'm saying, like if you want a position, like you want a job, go get that job. You wanna be R Prop, you wanna be A Rock, you wanna be uh, I wouldn't be that make, but if you want to be any of them jobs, go ahead and do that if that interests you. And I actually encourage you getting a job because you can also get promoted that way. Your RDCs can choose a certain amount of people to promote. So I got promoted for being uh, one of the yeomans. And then if, even if you don't get promoted that way, you don't want to live being mediocre like that. It's, it just sets up a lot of bad habits for you to have. You know, by you trying to fly under the radar because you're going to take that into the fleet and you're going to be lazy. And you going, you know what I'm saying? So just, just don't even do that. Just go in there and do what you need to do. And number three, make sure y'all leave all y'all extra baggage back home. And when I say that, I mean, you go in there, leave. If you go, you got an attitude problem, leave your attitude home. If you usually be in the shy kid, you know, the guy that don't really have too much confidence or girl don't have too much confidence, go into boot camp. This is a whole new fresh start for you. So no one knows how you used to be. No one knows you used to be arrogant. Nobody knows that you used to not talk. You know, no one knows who you are. So it's a perfect start if you want to start to be a, a better version of you. I say leave all the negative stuff, leave that back home and just try to reinvent yourself for be a better person. Number four, number four. All right, so this one, this was one that I didn't even do when I was in boot camp, but now from me going through my experiences, I can tell y'all. So me coming from why I live in Baltimore City, I was not a very open-minded person. I wasn't the type of person to speak to somebody if I don't know them, you know, stuff like that. And then I used to be like real, like watching people because I, I didn't really trust like, how people be moving. But but when you go to boot camp, you're going to meet so many different people from different walks of life, especially that I wasn't used to. I never would have hung around the people that I was forced to hang around or I never would have just encountered them people on, on a day-to-day -day basis either way. So... When you go to boot camp, it's gonna be like one big melting pot of y'all. Do your best to, it may be hard at, at uh, times, but try your best to look at everybody with like an open mind and understand that, cause this was got, almost got me in trouble a couple times. Understand that everybody else is wasn't raised on a certain, on the same type of morals or the same principles that you were raised on. So you can't start tweaking out on certain stuff or you know what I mean you can't trip about that you got you just gotta take it for what it is bottom line whoever that is there at boot camp hopefully they're gonna end up being your shipmate they're gonna be your shipmate even if you don't even like this person when you out to see on deployment in a casualty breakout you're not worrying about who you like and all this type of stuff the main objective is to protect the ship and protect everybody on the ship you know what I mean you don't gotta be friends with everybody but you gotta have that same you gotta have that respect that this your shipmate and you willing to do what you gotta do to keep your shipmate safe. Because when you out to sea on that water, it ain't no call, no 911. Fire break out, you fighting that fire, flooding, any of that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Anything can happen. So you just gotta be able to work together. And number five, all right. Damn, I almost lost my balance. But number five, all right. 
I'm not saying that boot camp is going to be easy. I'm not saying it's going to be a stroll in the park. I'm not saying none of that type of stuff. It's going to be hard times. It's going to be a lot of boring times where you just like, what am I doing with my life right now? But the best thing I could get, best advice I can give you above all of this is to make sure you enjoy yourself and to like cherish every moment. Because I can speak probably on behalf of most people that's in the actual fleet now. Boot camp, when you're going through it, boot camp is like, all right, this sucks. Like, I'm bored. Like, you know what I mean? Or, like, I really don't want to do this right now. But I'm telling you, like, when you look back, boot camp, but for me, boot camp was, like, so fun when I look back on it. Like, dang. it was. It's almost like you ever been in high school and you're like, man, I just can't wait to graduate. You know what I'm saying? Then you look back like, dang, high school was kind of... High school is kind of lit. That's almost how boot camp is. So you'll never get those same moments back. So make sure y'all cherish every moment you're in boot camp with. You know what I mean? All the people that you meet there, they're going to be, well, not all of them, but you're going to meet people there that's going to be lifelong friends to you. Like, you know, shout out to, you know, the boot camp, the 132 gang, you feel me? Y'all know who y'all is. Evans, Saruti, Steele, uh, Lindsey. So, you know, just, just shout out to y'all. And these are lifelong people that you're going to meet. And, and mostly people are going to go into A school with you. Just just enjoy yourself. And don't stress too much. If you're watching this video, you're probably stressing already. Don't don't stress too much. You don't want to go in there all stressed out. I'm telling you, you're going to be fine. You watched enough videos. You ready. I hope y'all stay official like a referee with a whistle. Make sure y'all get my Instagram and my social medias up there. Hit me up if you need a shirt. I got some more merchandise on the way. And like I said, stay official like a referee with a whistle. Let's go.